What's going on? Everything's good, man. How's How the doing? business at Peppers? Everything's good, man. All right. Best burger in town, you know that. Uh, it's always the best burger. You got that right. Now. Thank Good you. See you. Today I want to talk to you about a legendary position in gold, just because gold's making such a big move lately. All right, folks, so uh, you've got gold and, of course, uh, gold futures. Now, what's underlying the gold futures? Well, back in the day, there used to be bars in the Board of Trade uh, that they'd stack up on pallets and bring in with armored cars, in and out, uh, the gold that backed up the contracts. Well, uh, back in the day, there was a, a gentleman named Ralph Peters, and Ralph was a really big trader. This is back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. Ralph is a really big trader, and he's buying lots and lots of futures in New York and hedging them against the gold here in Chicago. Naturally, I mean, and, you know, because the contracts were listed both places, made a lot of sense. Well, um, he was kind of angry because uh, the futures in New York, as we got closer and closer to uh, expiration of that futures contract, he was angry because they were marking the futures under the spot. Now, why would they do that? Why wouldn't it go to uh, parity? Well, for a good reason. Number one, they didn't think anybody could take delivery of uh, gold because we're talking physical bars of gold. Uh, and they didn't think anybody would take delivery of those. So uh, what he did was he threatened to take delivery of them. Well, they blew it off. They figured, no way Ralph's going to actually take delivery of gold. Nobody could afford to take that. But Ralph was a very wealthy man, and he could afford to do it. So what did he do? Ralph went, and he sent an Illinois armored car to New York. So in other words, he paid to have the armored car go from here in New York, here in Chicago, all the way out to New York City. And then um, he basically had the armored car circle around the COMEX, where gold was trading at that time. The reason for that was simple. He's panicking the traders. Now the traders realize that some, for some reason, this crazy trader in Chicago has sent an armored car all the way out to them to deliver uh, on their obligation that they have to fill this thing with gold based on the number of futures contracts that this guy has. Well, so they panic and the price of, of their futures on the COMEX jumps to way higher than the spot. And it does that, of course, because he's not selling to them until he's exacted his pound of flesh. Okay, so now that contract, again, those futures went to a big premium over the spot, inverting where they had been previously, just because those traders had to cover. That's the difference between able to take physical delivery and the folks that can't take physical delivery. Same thing happens, by the way, in crude oil, as uh, when people are short crude oil into that final week of trading, they're in a world of hurt, they gotta cover. That's one of the issues.